Okay, so thank you for your question and thank you for coming. In terms of Boeing's uh, integration within India and our commitment to India, so India is part of Boeing and Boeing is part of India. So this is for us, we're a, a more than a century old. We see India becoming part of the future of the Boeing company for our second century. Well, what does that mean? We're localizing MRO. We have a local company, Boeing Defense India. The Indian aircraft should be sustained, supported, all the life cycle work, MRO should be done in India for India. And we're championing this, first of all. Of course, we have delivered great products that are keeping the nation safe. Chinooks, Apache, C-17, P-8I, for example. And, uh, and so the key is we focus on the customer to make sure that the products are outperforming and helping, again, protect the nation. So this is a mission that we take very seriously. Now, we look at modernization, and you know the, it's a very crowded neighborhood and a dangerous neighborhood. So in terms of the priorities we have at Aero India, first of all, the F-18 Super Hornet for the Indian Navy. This is the premier carrier-based fighter um, in the world and is on offer to F-18 Navy. We recently just completed a ski jump trial in the United States to prove how it will work on the Indian Navy carriers, which are a ski jump takeoff versus a catapult. So very excited about that and offering the latest capability of the Block 3 to Indian Navy. Now, additionally, what was just announced two days ago, we had the first flight for the Air Force of the F-15EX. So again, this is a new F-15EX program for the United States Air Force, first flight two days ago. The program manager of the entire program is the son of India, Pratush Kumar, who used to be here in India. And, uh, and so we're all especially excited because the United States government has approved us to offer this also to the Indian Air Force, fastest fighter in the world, most payload, longest unrefueled range. These are the requirements that are important for India in this environment, and that it's now on offer. So it's the only new aircraft being offered for the MRFA. And importantly, to your first question, we are prepared to do full make in India. So we've been given this approval, full make in India. So we would look forward to partnering. We have more than 250 suppliers today. As I said, we have our local company as well. So we would really look forward to kind of lifting that capability through localization um, and manufacturing, a sustainment, life cycle support of the F-15EX as the most capable aircraft. So, you know, tanker also priorities we're looking at, sustainment, training here in country for India, from India, and really just embracing Atmanirbhar Bharat, you know, it's part of everything we do. So, during Aero India 2021, since they have the slogan now, Atmanirbhar Bharat, and Make in India, yes. uh, are you planning to tie up with some companies here to go forward with this? Yeah, well, so one thing I think you see, there have been a couple of announcements. So yeah. one of them, for example, um, you know, of course we do work directly in India. We have a very large engineering and technology center, advanced engineering, like, we have Indian talent, engineering, analytics, working on the cutting edge US government programs today from Bangalore, right? So those same engineers want to do work in India for Indian MOD, of course, right? So sometimes we do the work directly ourselves and other times our role is seeing the great companies in India and for us to work with them and grow them and to have them do the work. So an example of that in MRO space, which really is a big focus for us of localization of MRO and commercial and defense, we just announced a new initiative we call BIRDS. And it's basically the in-country life cycle sustainment for defense and commercial. And as part of that, we just announced a partnership with a great company called Airworks, where they're doing all the heavy check maintenance of P8s today. Not in the future, theoretical, but we're already doing this here. Other countries, they all go to the US to do this work. We're already doing it here in India. You know, my mother used to say, one of her things to me was, you have to walk the talk. If it's just talk, you know, you have to walk the talk for people to believe you. And actions speak louder than words. And so it's under this that we're really trying to take action and, uh, and improve it um, of, of our seriousness and focus on Abhmanirbha Bharat, both for manufacturing like an F-15, but really also for this life cycle sustainment and MRO. I would be interested to know how COVID has affected the defense business on board. Well, that's a, a short question with a complicated answer, yes. but it has, but I'll say, importantly, it's affected all of us, right? Yeah. It's affected industries around the world, countries, national budgets and priorities, of course. But I'm really pleased to say, if you stay focused on our customer, 
and we work closely and we have trust with our customer here in India, we've been able to still deliver new aircraft. We've been able to still help support India. You know, during the same time, the neighbors tried to test India's strength. And so it's important that we've been able to support Air Force, Army, Navy, and, and what we do to support those products. So that's one. And, that, and of course, they've come through with flying colors, as all of us have seen and been witness to. So we're proud of that. And I think, of course, you know, we have suppliers, supply chains, things delay. We've had some of those in our global supply chain. But I think we're now looking forward to recovery and acceleration in 2021. Thank you so much, Michael. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. It was a pleasure speaking to you. Pleasure Thanks speaking for your time. to you as well. Thanks Thank for your you. time.